Who doesn't want to get scared on Halloween? That's practically what the holiday is there for. And candy. Don't forget the candy. So to get in the spirit of all things spooky, we're counting down our top 10 picks for the best games to play on Halloween. Some are downright terrifying, and others will just get you in the mood. For Halloween, that is. So let's jump in. In our number 10 spot is P.T. P.T. aka Playable Trailer was supposed to be the next installment in the Silent Hills franchise. While many see this as potentially one of the best horror games out there, and fair enough, it's exceptional, it only makes the 10th spot on our list since you can only play it if you're one of the lucky few who downloaded it from the PlayStation Store when it was actually available. And if you are, or have a friend that was, you'll get to experience what some critics called the new king of horror, even though that reign was short lived. Up next, number 9 is Oregon Trail. Getting spookier for our next number here, Oregon Trail is a retro zombie survival game that parodies the game Oregon Trail. You travel through a post-apocalyptic US in an old station wagon in an attempt to reach a zombie free sanctuary, and the game requires you to manage limited resources in order to keep all of your travelers alive. It's available on Steam, mobile for Android and iOS, PlayStation 4 and PS Vita. Also, side note, some of the characters kind of look like the characters from Zombieland, specifically Jesse Eisenberg. In our number 8 spot is Friday the 13th. While this game has slowly grown into a bit of a role playing cluster in the last several months, that doesn't mean it's not incredibly fun. Essentially, it's a co op game where you play as either one of the camp counselors running away from Jason, trying to survive and escape, or as Jason himself. And Jason has some fun tricks up his sleeve. If you're a horror film buff, this game should definitely be a priority for All Hallows Eve. Alright, up next at number 7 is Costume Quest. Moving into something a little less terrifying, yet still incredibly topical of this spooky holiday, Costume Quest is a point and click RPG where the player controls a kid that's out trick or treating with her twin. Unfortunately, their twin gets kidnapped by a monster. Monster, prompting you to collect items, candy, and other kids as companions in order to take on the beast. If you want something light but thematically in the vein of Halloween fun, Costume Quest and its sequel are available on Steam. Up next, number six is Alan Wake. A psychological thriller action adventure game, Alan Wake is an adaptation of the best selling novels of the same name, in which we play protagonist Alan trying to solve the mystery of his wife's disappearance. Alan is a best selling author dealing with writer's block, and when his wife goes missing while on vacation in the small mountain town of Bright Falls, Washington, weird things start to go down. The game received positive reviews and praise for its pacing, its overall aesthetics, and surprising level of complexity in combat. And fun fact, was largely inspired by the likes of Stephen King and adaptations of his work like The Shining. Coming in at our number 5 spot is Fatal Frame Made in a Black Water. Released initially in Japan in 2014 and the rest of the world in 2015, Fatal Frame Made in a Black Water is the fifth entry in its survival horror video game series. You walk around fighting ghosts, combating them by taking their photo using the camera obscura, which is controlled by the Wii U gamepad. It's an anti camera that shifts you from third person view into first person, and is the only means of defense against the ghosts, with a fatal frame damaging the ghosts the most. Coming in at our number 4 spot is Until Dawn. If you're feeling a little bit more like a horror epic, Until Dawn and its 10 chapters of gameplay may be for you. Taking place at a remote lodge in Alberta, Canada, we spend the night with 8 young adults who are reuniting after the tragic death of 2 friends of theirs the year before. There's a psychotic killer on the loose, and a thicker plot involving creatures called Wendigos. All of your actions and decisions will account for how many of the 8 you manage to keep alive, making the replay factor for this one fairly high anytime you want a good scary story to dive into. Also note, may take longer than a night for most people to complete the game. In our number 3 spot is Slender the Arrival. Now, the original Slender the 8 Pages is terrifying, but Arrival made this list because it extends on the gameplay with a longer more horrific journey. Fret not though, it still keeps things simple. You still only have your flashlight, but there's more horrors lurking in the night waiting for you. While we suggest checking out all of the Slender games, aside from maybe the original which despite being pretty scary is also the victim of bad graphics due to aging, Arrival is heftier in length, but can still be completed through one night sitting. Up next in our number 2 spot is Five Nights at Freddy's. Taking a look at the whole series here, Five Nights at Freddy's is not only one of the scariest set of games out there, but also oh so inspiring. It's a game that fans have a deep adoration for, and after you give it a try you'll definitely see why. Essentially the premise is that you have to survive the night against homicidal animatronic characters, all of which who are out to kill you, hence the homicidal part. And you're the security guard at a Chuck E. Cheese esque style Freddy Fazbear's Pizza. Now, the fourth and fifth games switch it up a little bit too, but there's still plenty of Freddy and friends trying to kill you. And finally, in our number one spot is Amnesia The Dark Descent. So, let's take a look at a game that's been critically acclaimed Amnesia The Dark Descent. So, in Amnesia, you're exploring a dark castle while trying to maintain your sanity and crossing paths with the likes of monsters and other terrifying obstructions. It's utterly terrifying and really hard to maintain that sanity. Also, fun fact if you make it through small ways at the beginning of the game, game and shut it off, you'll receive a trophy called Nope, 
which is both hilarious and belittling. And I may or may not have done that because it was really scary. All right, there we have it, guys. What games are you gonna play on Halloween? Or rather, what games are you gonna play leading up to Halloween? Let us know in those comments below. And if you dug this video, why not hit that like button and that subscribe button too while you're at it. We'd love to have you guys stick around some more. We've got some other great lists on horror games for you to check out, including the top 10 scariest video games. Or if you're feeling a little bit more like real life horror, why not check out the top 10 real life deaths caused by video games. In the meantime, thanks for watching. I've been Kelly Pally and this has been Top 10 Gaming. I'll catch you on the next one.